up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Studio Series 86 Perceptor. So, this is from uh, Target. I actually bought this. I, I don't normally get retail stuff here, um, but I did pick this up for a friend of my channel here, G Tony. He actually wanted this, so I'm going to be sending this to him. Um, but lucky to find this on the shelf. But here he is. Continues the Studio Series line. You got some white paint here on the chest. Painted silver with the blue eyes and then the yellow head crest there. The arms are blue plastic and the legs are blue plastic as well. Red plastic here. You do have the white paint here on the sides for those little uh, dials there. Here's the back. You do have the unfortunate hole there. But these days it's to be expected with the Studio Series line, you got holes here as well. Um, but overall, pretty nice looking. Let's go over his uh, accessories here. You do get his gun. Just a red plastic gun. Sculpted nicely that can go into his hand. And you also get this cardboard stage like we've been getting with all the Studio Series. This is the Battle for Autobot City, so I guess Autobot City in the background. You can see the explosion there. Kind of nice if you display these. I, f I recently finally saw a picture of somebody who displays their figures in these cardboard things. I have to say, it was a little weird seeing them all together. I wasn't sure if anybody used these in display, but now I know people are using them. Um, but not for me, but there you go if you want to use it. All right, now let's go over his articulation. The head is on a ball joint, but due to the way it's designed, you can't really get any up and down. You get a minuscule amount, get a little bit side to side, and then it rotates all the way around. This can go all the way up to there. Goes down on a ratchet, but it's really meant to just tab in and sit there. Shoulders rotate around on a ball joint, up to there on that ball joint. Rotation at the bicep. Single joint elbow gets a 90 degree, nothing at the wrist. For rotation at the waist, the hips go up to there, back to there, up to the side. And I'll talk about that in a second. Um, they have a click point here, so it's either this much movement and then the next point is up there. So you don't, can't really get in the middle there. You have more than 90 degree bend at the knee. Unfortunately, this doesn't lock, so it tends to bend on you. So you kind of have to straighten it as you're posing him because it will move on you. Maybe some kiki or something can fix that. And then you have an ankle tilt there at the bottom and a toe tilt if you want it forward. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Earthrise Optimus Prime or Netflix Optimus Prime. Uh, looks good. He scales well with Optimus. Um, I remember him being kind of a taller bot, but I guess this is fine. It makes sense. So there you go for comparison. All right, let's get Perceptor transformed into his microscope mode. Go ahead and take the gun. and You can set that aside. Take the hands, rotate those in. They do have a click point there, so you have to click it past that point. And then it goes in to the arms. Go ahead and take the head. It's going to rotate around to the back. And then down into the cavity here. Take this microscope piece here. Just set that aside for now. We're going to take these pieces. And those are going to lift out. So you can get these pieces up. And that will allow you to take this microscope piece. And kind of wedge it in between. Just like that. Alright, then we're going to take these arms. Rotate them upwards, and they're going to slide in. They're going to tab in right here. So get them tabbed in just like that. Same on this side. Pull it down, and then tabbed into the side. Go ahead and take this. This is going to come down and sit like this. Take the chest, open that up, and then it'll sit just like that. Last step, go ahead and take the legs, fold them upwards. And then you're going to fold, fold forwards, fold the toe down. Same on this side, fold this upwards, rotate this forwards. Fold the toe down and just straighten up that waist rotation there. And there we have Perceptor in his microscope mode. Pretty nice looking at the translucent chest there. It looks nice. The Autobot logo is actually here inside the chest, which is really cool. Here's the back. You have that does fill in, you know, when you have the head in there. You can take this gun and store it in a couple places. You can store it there, store it here on the side. I tend to put it here. I think that's what they said in the book, but you can put it back here too. And yeah, looks pretty good. Nice solid little 
microscope. This doesn't do anything. You can't open this up or anything. You can go up and down on this. And it is actually ratcheted, which really su surprised me. There's a tiny little ratchet in there. I wasn't expecting that on a little guy like this. But, and since I know there's people out there who will ask, you cannot look through. <laughs> there's nothing to see. It's just blurry and something there. So there you go for microscope mode. And for a quick size comparison, that probably doesn't make any sense. There it is next to Optimus Prime. He's a very big microscope, but there you go. All right, now let's get him into tank mode. There is one more mode here. So you can rotate these legs uh, backwards, actually, this way. And you can take this gun out of here. I'm going to take the legs and rotate them around to their side. And then these are going to peg in. So there's a little tab right here that's going to peg in on the top of the legs. So it looks something like that. You can straighten this up. This is kind of the cannon. You're going to take this and that's going to peg in right here next to the scope or the the cannon or whatever it is now that it's a tank mode. It does have wheels sculpted in here. They're not painted, but they are sculpted in. There aren't any actual wheels on the bottom. It just sort of sits like that. And for comparison, there it is next to Optimus Prime. So final thoughts on the Studio Series 86 Perceptor. Let's start with the positives. I do like the look of him overall. I like the head sculpt. I like the paint. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more paint, but overall it is a nice looking Perceptor, at least from the front anyway. Um, it's got some good articulation, uh, but negatives wise, this is really just annoying. It, it actually hinders his articulation because you're constantly trying to fix it. I really don't like that. I also don't like a lot of the gaps. Um, these are probably the most obnoxious because they're right there, dead center. This is in the back, so you don't really see it. Um, so I don't mind that one too much, but the arms, it just seems kind of silly. Um, but this is the main issue, you know, these not locking in. They could have just put a tab that locked it. I think that would have helped. Or if there is a tab, it's just too small, right? Uh, but he also poses nicely. You can see I have him in a crouched pose here. It looks really nice. You can get him with the rest of your Studio Series 86. He's going to look great in that collection. I guess if you are collecting this line, I do recommend him. I just wish they would remedy some of these little annoyances, especially things like that. So that's really it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.